Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to edit and adjust the orange skin tones on your image to make sure it looks absolutely perfect. And it doesn't matter if you work with portrait image, lifestyle image, bikini image, because this technique is good for everything. So I already edited the skin tones here. You can see this is before this image was a little bit yellowish. So I decided to uh, make it better. And usually the case is that the skin tones are too yellow or too red. So we need to move it to one or the other side. And we are going to work with one adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer is hue saturation. So why hue saturation is perfect for this kind of task, because it allows us to work selectively with the color. And by hitting on master, we can change the colors that we want to work with. We can work with reds, yellows, green, cyans, blues, and magentas. Uh, sad thing is that the skin is not red and it's not yellow. It's somewhere in between. So what we have to do, we have to define the perfect color of the skin. We have to define that the color that we have on the image that we work with. So what I'm going to do instead of choosing the hand and trying to guess which color is that, and it's going to place me uh, somewhere into the reds, it's not ideal. Instead of this, I'm going to choose the color that doesn't exist on this image. So I have some blue color, I believe I have some cyan color, but I don't think I have any greens. So I'm choosing the greens and I'm going to replace this green color with the new color that I have here. And this is going to be color of the skin. So I'm going to choose this eyedropper and the next part is choosing the location where we believe represent the skin the best. It won't be here because we have some shadow here. It probably won't be here as well, but I think pretty universal color will be somewhere on the forehead or usually around the place where you don't have the makeup done. As you can see, the difference between the forehead and this place is not really that huge. So I'm going to go with forehead. And as you can see over here, it placed the hue somewhere between the 8 and 38. Uh, the fact is the skin tones are usually somewhere between 15 or 30. If it plays at here, as here, we can guess that the skin tone of this image is probably hue 20 few, maybe 23. So I'm going to decrease this now. I don't need such a wide range. So I'm decreasing the higher hue at up down to 30. And I will increase the lower hue up to 15. And then also this uh, transition here, I'm going to move to zero. And over here, I also don't need that high, but this part will not be as important. So the range I defined here is very narrow right now because I want to work specifically with the skin tones that got defined as the reds number two. And we can see when we're going to increase the saturation to maximum, we are not affecting other things as much, but mainly we are affecting just the skin. We still affect some of the lips, so we might want to correct this feather. And let's see if I can do it. If I go with the hue feather here, it's not the case, but maybe here I can increase this definition. So the transition uh, will be a little harder. So we won't affect anything below the hue eight. So this is really a narrow range that we did here. Of course, I'm not going to increase this uh, saturation to 100. Let's go back to zero. And what I'm going to do right now, 
I mentioned to you at the very beginning that this image looks a little bit too yellow. So I'm not going to increase the value for the hue because this image will become even more yellow. I want to decrease the value of the hue for a few points, maybe uh, minus three. Usually we don't want to really manipulate with this with uh, huge numbers, but just softly adjust the color. Once it's done, I also think this image is uh, not saturated enough. I think this image should be a nice, punchy, colorful. That's the atmosphere that I'm getting from this image. So I'm also going to increase the saturation up to 10. Let's have a look. This is before and this is after. I'm going to rename this layer into the skin, skin tones. And last thing that we want to do here is the blending mode. So the normal blending mode might affect the shadows. And I, I can actually see that we do affect some lights. If you don't want to affect the lights, you will change the blending mode from normal to color. The color will only affect the hue and saturation of this image, but the lights will not be affected at all. So if you would like to affect only hue, you will choose the hue. If you would like to only affect the saturation, you will choose the saturation. If you want to affect both, you will choose color. And this is how to edit skin tones to make sure they will look perfect. Very simple, uncomplicated um, way of doing this. And that's the best. The easy resolution for your images in Photoshop usually works the best. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in more retouching stuff, make sure to check the links in the description because um, I offer free retouching essential course on my website, retouchingninja.com. So make sure you check out this uh, free course, perfect for anyone who wants to start with retouching and perfect for photographers who want to improve their retouching skills. Also make sure to check my retouching portfolio and I'm going to see you once again in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.